Hey folks, this is Peggy from Three Forks Farms. Uh, here to share with you today uh, another little recipe that we used at the farm on how to make organic bread. Uh, for any of you folks out there that really believe and uh, want to be able to eat organic bread, um, being able to bake it yourself is the most affordable way to be able to do it and also allows you to make bread in many different ways uh, rather than just buying the stuff that's frozen in the grocery store. So today we really want to share this recipe with you that's really quick, really easy, and doesn't take you hours to make. And uh, we make this bread multiple times a week and we have for years and it takes us next to no time. So I'm going to show you uh, today and hopefully it will help you be able to eat delicious organic bread as well. Alright, so first things we got to do is we need to start it with what our ingredients are. So, uh, our basics are our flours. So we use uh, the Posh Haven flour, which is grown in New Liskard. It's certified organic, grown by George Posh, and he's amazing. We buy them in large 10 kilo bags from Click Fork, uh, which are, is really affordable for organic flour. Uh, and then we also mix it with the Loonsong flowers. Um, Loonsong uh, was a farm here in Northern Ontario. They've recently moved down south for lots of logistical and flower gro growing reasons, but we still continue to carry their, fl their flower on Click Fork, and we love it because it's a stone ground biodynamic certified organic flower, and it's super tasty. So you need your flowers, your white, and then your whole wheats or your whole flowers. You need uh, yeast, uh, and then you also need salt. You can uh, spice up your breads by adding in other little ingredients such as whole grains, seeds, uh, fr dried fruits uh, to make a flavored bread depending on what you're looking for because this bread is incredibly flexible. So uh, I've measured out some of the ingredients. So this is three cups of the certified organic uh, Posh Haven white unbleached flour. So we're going to put that in the bowl like that. I've measured out two cups of the spelt uh, Loon Song flour here, so we're going to put that in the bowl. I have a tablespoon of dry active yeast, so we're going to put that in the bowl. And then we're going to take like a little scoop of salt like that, just a small bit, put that in there. So then we can just stir this up, just make sure that the salt and the yeast are mixed in with the flours. Boom, 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 boom. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to add in three cups of lukewarm water. So this is water that's kind of the same temperature as your hand, but no warmer than that. You don't want it to feel hot on your hand because it can cook the yeast and make it so it will not be active. So we're going to go like this. Just pour that in there. And we're going to stir it. And all you got to do is you got to stir it so that everything's combined well and just creates like a formed dough. It's not easy to do with one hand when you're holding the camera. I'm going to set the camera down for a sec. All right, so I've finished stirring up the dough. I have only stirred this dough. I have not kneaded it or anything. You can see the consistency. It's a bit wet. It's not as dry as a normal dough that you're used to seeing when you're making bread. Um, so yeah, so we've t this has taken all of like three minutes. And now all you do is you cover this with a towel and come back to it, you know, eight hours later. So right now it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm going to come back to this uh, just before dinner and we're going to finish the bread. All right. So now uh, we're ready to show you the next step of baking this really easy bread. Uh, it's eight hours later. It's uh, closer to eight or five o'clock now. Uh, our bread has been sitting on the counter, covered with this tea towel, uh, and you can see it is kind of uh, just a really loose dough. It's uh, pretty moist, not compacted at all. The goal that we're going to do next is we're going to bake it. Uh, so to bake it, 
we actually use a Dutch oven, which is a cast iron pot, which we preheat in the oven for at 425 for an hour to make sure it's really, really hot uh, for when we put the bread in. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to show you. So this is our Dutch oven. Uh, as you can see, it's a cast iron pot that's really well used because we bake bread every week. It's really, really, really hot on the inside. You want to make sure you use your gloves. And so the easy next thing, no kneading, we're just going to pour our dough into the pot like this. There we go. Easy done. We're going to put the lid back on because what's going to happen is that by keeping the lid on, it's going to kind of steam the bread and it's going to have a consistent heat. So we're going to put the lid on and we're going to put it back in the oven. Again, at around 400, 425. And then we're going to leave it in the oven for 35 minutes with the lid on. Put your timer on. At 35 minutes, you take the lid off and then put the Dutch oven back in the oven for 25 minutes without the lid. So that's it. Pretty easy. And we're going to show you what the end result is. All right. So this is the glory moment where we get to unveil the beautiful bread. Uh, so the bread has been in the oven for an hour. At 35 minutes, we took the lid off the bread and we put it back in for another 25 minutes. And now we get to take it out and see the beautiful bread that we've created. So I'm going to take it out now. This is a beautiful bread. I'm going to flip it out. Voila. This is a beautiful artisanal bread, all certified organic and for a fraction of the price that it would cost to buy this in the grocery store. Uh, it's tons of versatility with this recipe. Play with it. You can do lots of things and enjoy.